I'm Urs Kieger from the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. I'm a clinician as well as a scientist and work predominantly on hereditary diseases. And the one that I recently worked on with my group and collaborations with other institutions was avian tuberculosis, which is a systemic, devastating, fatal disease in miniature schnauzers that happens throughout the world and is related to a genetic predisposition that goes back to 1986 to a common ancestor that has distributed this kind of mutant allele throughout the population. Any dog that is affected has been between one and eight years of age, mostly between two and five years of age. Clinically, it could be confused with lymphoma, could be confused with leishmaniasis, could be confused with sarcomas and other things. And these animals all succumb to the disease within a few months to up to a year. Despite treatment, it is not a treatable disease in this breed because of the severity of the immune defect. And therefore, the drugs that are quite difficult to give anyway are not going to work in that breed. This is not an, you know, a simple problem. This is a really serious one, and it's devastating for the families that have these dogs. So I think this is a good example where infectious disease has become a very major issue for a particular breed, and because this is actually a sonotic disease that can affect dogs as well as humans, this obviously has implications for the owners, the breeders, and the family around the dog as well. I think this is a good case where you can think of the culmination of a bad genetic predisposition and then a serious infection that can cause a devastating problems for a particular dog. And so whenever you do have infections and you're dealing with an animal that has an unusual infection, such as avian tuberculosis, that pretty much doesn't happen in dogs or people, or maybe it has a protracted course, not responding to antibiotics or not responding to other treatments, then one should maybe think of a genetic predisposition to infection and investigate that because the animal may not be treatable because of that immunodeficiency and may put other animals or even people at risk.